Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for June 20th to June 26th. This is for Aries, Sun, and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I get really specific. I use astrology, tarot, and my guides to lead your reading. And the reason I use astrology is because astrology and tarot go hand in hand. Now, when I say rising, because I get a lot of questions about this, you really should be reading your rising sign as well. And to get your rising sign, you need your birth chart. That is, everything is in your birth chart. The rising is so important, it is where the sun was on the eastern horizon when you were born. If the best way, the best analogy to think of it is that your birth chart, who you are, your zodiac, astrology, it is a uh, jelly donut, okay? Your core, the sun, your sun sign is the jelly, the rising is the donut. You really get the full picture when you know you're rising and you should be reading your rising as well. Secondly, uh, can we talk about this week? It's going to be a really great week. We already know that Mercury is... So Mercury's in Gemini. Uh, the first thing I'm going to mention is on Monday, Mercury and Jupiter are going to have a sextile. This is amazing. This is a great alignment. Mercury, the planet of communication. Jupiter, prosperity, growth, good fortune. So on Monday, I want you to sign papers. I want you to go out and uh, you know, I want you to uh, go ask someone out on a date. I want you to ask your boss to uh, for a raise. This is a good day to take advantage of like communicating in terms of the things that you want. Secondly, Tuesday's a big day. It's officially summer, all right? But also the sun goes into cancer. So Aries for that, for you, that means there could be a lot of activity in your home or you could just, you know, with cancer in, uh, with the sun cancer for Aries, you could be wanting to just spend a little more time at home for the next four weeks, all right? But there's going to be a lot of activity there because, and I'll talk about this for next week, but uh, next week there is a new moon in Cancer that still affects your fourth house. So when I say home, that de involves family, lovers, your home sector, anything with your domestic life, all right? But also remember Tuesday is the longest day of the year. Make use of it. Take advantage of that, all right? There's a lot you can do on Tuesday. Last thing I'm going to mention for this week is that Wednesday, Venus goes into Gemini. Now, I already said that Mercury is in Gemini. A lot of action in Gemini, all right? So all about, think about Gemini, communication, mental stimulation, socializing. So Aries, the theme of the week is let it be known. The reason why that is the theme is because it's action. Let it be known. Let it be known who you are. Let it be known what you want. Let it be known you exist. All right, Aries. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading. I've given this a really good shuffle and let's see what's in store for Aries June 20th to the uh, 26th. I can't even get my dates in my head. Anyway, Aries, I hope you've been well. I know that there's been a lot going on, especially with Mars in your sign, Jupiter in your sign. Like this is so this is going to be a summer for you and a great one, okay? So keep that in mind. Also, remember Venus is still in Taurus um, just for um, the first two days but less of this week, but that's still like your second house. Sorry, I got to get comfortable here. That's still your second house um, income. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I love what I see here. Aries, this week is going to be very special for you, all right? This is going to be very, very, very special. Now, you've done well, Aries. You've done good, okay? You did get the seven of wands. Now, what this means is that you have recently achieved something. You've really just gotten something that you wanted, whether it is something like involving home or whether it is a job that you uh that got you out of um some other job you didn't like or even just getting praise at work or getting a promotion or or a new job but listen you've done well so well that people are coming after you cap after you because they're jealous that's the only reason why you have to defend yourself right now defend your territory and you did a really good job okay you did a great job defending it uh there could have been a moment where people were questioning you they were just like why are you doing this or even like um uh, in terms of like family, if it's like your parents that are like, oh, I don't know, honey, if I want you to do that or whatever, you defended yourself and you like, you told them like, this is why, this is me. But also, uh, it could have been colleagues coming after you, colleagues who were jealous. They're like, 
oh, I really wanted that with that role, but you deserved it, Aries. And interestingly, it brought you this huge breakthrough, okay? Now, I love this. You pulled this in like the heart of the matter. This is insane. This is the Ace of Swords, okay? As you can see, breakthrough, baby. This is all about breakthrough. Expect a huge breakthrough, and you may be going through one right now, Aries. Huge, huge breakthrough. Listen, Ace is the biggest, biggest card out of the minor, minor arcana that ushers in change. Now, the swords, all about mental, mental, mental breakthrough. Remember all those planets in Gemini, really love it. So keep your eyes on the prize, okay? And listen, this is really interesting and I love that you got this. I love, and I'm not gonna, I'm, listen, I won't be surprised if this card comes up in everyone's readings because Mercury's in Gemini, you know, Mercury's in Gemini and then Venus is going into Gemini. But listen, this is all about teamwork. This is all about collaboration. This is all about uh, working with others to, to make something special and amazing. And listen, this is really great. This came up in your crown, so you're seeking it. There could be a lot of areas you are looking for it. If you have been working remotely from home, maybe you now want to work with other people. Uh, if you've been working in the same job for a long time, maybe you want a different environment, working with different people. But either way, there's going to be people involved, okay? And you're looking for it. And this is great, especially, like I said, with all that activity with like in the communication sector with Gemini. Like This is very social. And listen... I want you to be that way, okay? Listen, uh, and here's the reason why is because think about it. If you think about like the beginning of human history, we all traveled in packs. We all relied on each other. It was always we, not I. This is great, okay? Because that's, you know, if you think about it, those bonding moments, uh, they, they really just trigger the oxytocin, right? And so that's even like, down to having a hug with someone, all right? It makes us feel good. Now, listen, you did get, okay, so you got, all right, there we go. We uh, Okay, well, you know, I'll get to that later. So you did get the Eight of Cups in your challenge area. And so what this really means, this breakthrough that you're going through right now or that you could have, you need to walk away from something that, uh, could have been disappointing you. And again, I'm getting really good energy around this. So it really means that a lot of Aries already know this, okay? Y'all already know this and you're already doing it, all right? So I want you to remember if something didn't work for you in the past or something that you know may have disappointed you recently, walk away from it and it looks like you are, okay? And that's great because that's where we wanna go. But you know, at the end of the day, and here's the thing, I want you to be, and listen, you know, this card came, I don't think it, it came up in your spread last week, but it came up a lot. This is just saying, like, the end of the day, deep down inside, you might be a little bit bored with a certain situation, bored with something in your work, bored in a relationship, bored with, you know, where you live, maybe like uh, the neighborhood you live in or the apartment that you live in or the house that you live in. Um, listen, all I'm saying is if you're bored, if you feel like you're not getting enough out of it, the things that you want you're not getting yet, I want you to be grateful still, okay? I still want you to be grateful, all right? Like we can talk about that. We can talk about the 12 laws of attraction. We can talk about quantum physics if you want to, all right? Being grateful in the moment raises your energy levels, raises those frequencies. So if there is something that you're not getting yet, it'll come, okay? But the energy you put out there is not, I can't believe I haven't gotten this yet. It is, I'm so grateful for this opportunity that came through. I'm for, it's, because, it's not what I want right now. I'm waiting for something else, but I'm still grateful for this moment, all right? That's what I want you to feel moving forward, okay? Because listen... You got the hair of font, all right? So this is all about wisdom. This is all about, you know, uh, I mentioned in another video that, you know, Saturn, it currently is retrograde. This is a good time to think about where you are in your life, the structure that you've had in your life and how you want your life structured moving forward, okay? This is a good time to think about that. Now the hair of font, all about structure, all about traditions, all right? But very spiritual connotations here. When I say spiritual, I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you to think that, you know, 
a, I know every, spiritual means a lot of things to different people, okay? Whether you believe in God, whether you believe in the universe, it does not matter what you believe in, but it is just saying that whatever you believe in, um, you still need to feel that energy and feel that oneness. And I know that sounds so cliche and it sounds so odd, but it's really true. It's really like tap into yourself to really find that wisdom, okay? So you can pass it along to others and it looks like you will, all right? You're coming into a good place. Like, look at that. This is the first major arcana when you see other people showing up. Okay, it's not just it's not just the high priest. It's not, you know, and a lot of people call him the Pope. Other people have shown up. This is connection, okay? What did I say earlier about, you know, connecting with other people right now, all right? This is a human condition. Don't disconnect yourself from others. Bring them into your life right now, okay? Bring them into your life. I love, love that you got um, the Hierophant, it is showing that you are moving in the right direction, Aries, and you are gathering a lot of wisdom. You're learning a lot right now. You're learning a lot about yourself. You're learning about what you want in life, whether it's career, whether it's relationships, whether it's family, whether it's like, pff, do I want a dog? Do you know what I mean? Like you're, you're, you're in a really good place. And I love that you did get the Ace of Swords because that really is very positive energy. It is a mental breakthrough. It is also like a personal breakthrough, okay? But it leads to success. It leads to victory, all right? Now, just remember to move away from any disappointing situation. And uh, if it is something that you haven't gotten yet, just still be grateful, all right? Still be grateful and appreciate everything in your life now. And you will, everything will fall into place. Now, Aries, Let's move on to your staff. Aries, if you like this reading so far, it would be great if you like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. And I love you, Aries. I love you so much. Um, and I love what I see here as well. I really, really love it. Okay, so let's start off with the King of Pentacles, all right? Listen, I call him the Elon Musk of the tarot deck. And whether you like the Elon Musk or not, he is a billionaire just like the king of pentacles this is all about wealth all right this is all about assets and money and uh, material items and growth in that area i mean he's sitting there because he played everything by the books and he made his wealth from all his hard work and you know if there's one takeaway from this reading from this card keep your eyes on the prize okay Keep your eyes on the prize and remember, let it be known, all right? That is the theme of the week. Let it be known who you are, what you want. Put that energy out there, all right? Okay? Now, the hermit. This is interesting because you, it, you know, you have gone through so much, Aries. This is asking you to spend a little time. Remember, I, I said this with the Hierophant, and this is interesting that you got the hermit as well. This is asking you to just spend a little time doing some soul searching, okay? Now, I think that someone's gonna come through, actually. Someone's gonna come through in a very, uh, kind of like, not just like a paternal role, but someone who is kind of like an advisor, someone who's like a really good guide for you. I feel that happening this week, and be open to that, okay? It can be as, it can be your, therapist, it can be your mom, it can be your dad, it can be your best friend, but find some wisdom within that, all right? But also, listen, this really is all about soul searching. And even though the hermit does pull himself away from other people uh, to do the soul searching, to spend some time alone, I still want you to remember to keep people in your life. Like, don't disconnect from people right now. Also, you got the seven of swords. So it feels like, Aries, there's been something happening where you feel like you didn't, like, it feels like there was something you didn't get, okay? And, okay, this is great. Now, um, so the seven of swords is really all, you know, I call them the lying, cheating, stealing card. I call it this lying, cheating, stealing card. And so maybe there is something under happening right now, uh, or that will be happening this week where you feel like someone's trying to, like, 
undermine you or take something for you or just really sneaky energy all right and i think that's how you feel and i think that like it has a lot to do with you know the eight of cups but also especially the four of cups um this is also like you know i am getting the impression that for a lot of aries it could be something that you're trying to sneak away from something that you're trying to do something that you don't want to confront okay you're really good at it. I'm not going to lie. He's getting away with it. All right. Carrying those stories and sealing the stories. But, you know, I clarified it and it has something to do with abundance and it has something to do with like success and it has something to do. So it's very big career energy. You know, it is very career related. You did pull the seven of pentacles as well. Um, you pulled two pentacles here. So it has to do with money as well. There could be something uh, where you feel like you're not, maybe you're not feeling the value or you people don't find... You don't think that people see the value in you, maybe at work, maybe you're getting underpaid, maybe you feel like you're not getting uh, the salary that you deserve, okay? Now, remember, just still be grateful for what you have, okay? Think about that. Um, you know, there are people out there who don't even get opportunities, all right? So always be grateful and things will come. And listen, it is one of the biggest, biggest takeaways from like the, the, the 12 laws of attraction, all right? So what you put out there, you're getting back. So listen, it looks like it is something that has something to do with money and general, like just wealth and just feeling really good, okay? But I want you to know, and look, you also got the four of pentacles, all right? So this is very money related. There's a lot of money uh, activity and challenges around money here. And so... Uh, or finances, okay? And again, remember I said assets as well. And so that can include your home. It can include uh, a lot of things that have, like bills. It can include anything that like has a monetary tie to it uh, that leads to the success that you're looking for, okay? I know you've worked really hard, all right? And this is all about like uh, knowing that you've worked hard and, and doing what you can to get what you feel like you deserve. And again, it's going to come. Listen, the four of pentacles, listen, holding on to his money, all right? So there is a sense that uh, maybe you are spending too much money or maybe you're just not getting enough of it, okay? But you're thinking about money, all right? And so here's the thing. This is really great because I did clarify that too. And I don't know if you've noticed, Aries. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but because I do these general readings, I don't really do clarifiers and doing it for you. And I'm going to, I because we're going to get to the bottom of this, all right? So you got the Nine of Swords and you got the Judgment card, okay? So listen, Nine of Swords, hang in there. What did I say? Everything happens in an order. Things will come. The things that you've wanted will come, all right? This is saying don't give up, okay? You're literally losing sleep over this situation. It has to do with money. It has to do with assets, and it has to do, and there's going to be a lot coming up this week, okay? There will be a lot coming up this week, especially with all that activity in Gemini, communication, and then also with the sun moving into Cancer, your fourth house, domestic sphere, okay? Now, when I say this is all going to come to an end. Nine, don't give up, all right? You got the judgment card, all right? Major Arcana energy here. This is awakening. So you're going to, things are going to come to an event and, and, and you're going to have this moment of clarity, all right? I think you're going to realize, okay, this is what I have to do and this is what I have to do. Listen, you can see the dead people here arising to the sound of the trumpet. Archangel Gabriel blowing the trumpet. We can, do you want to talk about sound? Let's talk about sound for a second. Sound goes back to ancient, ancient times. Listen, Gregorian chants, all right? Uh, Native American drum beats. I mean, sound is so healing, all right? When you hear the blow of the trumpet, this is healing, all right? And it connects with you. And it gives you that moment of clarity where you're like, oh, shit, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know how to fix this, all right? So this is going to be a very relevatory week for you. Remember, you got the Hierophant and the Hermit, all right? So do a little soul searching and find that wisdom, all right? Because you are going to, that's going to bring this moment of clarity for you in terms of how to solve any issues or challenges that you may be having around money, okay? And listen, if you're an Aries who is not going through that right now, it really is saying, 
this is said this is for the future baby all right this is all about setting it up for the future i do not want you to keep it all inside remember what the theme of the week is tell me aries what is it good let it be known all right aries i love you thanks so much for tuning in listen next week wow that's going to be a big week too, okay? We have a lot happening next. I mean, we have that, uh, the, 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 new, the new moon in Cancer, all right? Uh, but we have, we have a lot of positive aspects next week, and I'm going to talk about that next week, but this is also a really good week. There's a lot happening, but it's all about communication, all right? So let it be known. All right, Aries, I love you so much. Again, if you like this reading, it would be so great if you like and subscribe. I will see you next week.